So I want to do a quick demonstration today on the Chromecast. Now, if you're not familiar with Chromecast, Chromecast is the little $35 tool from Google for the 1080 model. They now also have a, I think it's $69 for their 4K model. And what these are is really simple devices that will cast screens. And it'll cast YouTube, it'll cast Netflix and Hulu and lots of other streaming services. But a lesser known use for this is using it to cast a second screen for your monitor. Now, a couple quick warnings. This will work fine for casting a second screen. What this will not work fine for is a game or anything that requires super fast screen updates. So you're not gonna play the latest 3D game, so it doesn't work as directly as a monitor. It also doesn't show up as another monitor. I'm gonna show you how it works right here. So right now we're on this page here and I'm going to click the three dots over here at the side and we're gonna cast and I have it called Studio Room. So we can click the cast too, so we can figure if we wanna cast my desktop or a tab, we're gonna start by casting a tab, and we're gonna send this over to the Studio Room. All right, now you see this on the Studio Room. So it displays it right onto the TV there, and it's showing what's in this tab. I can scroll, there's gonna be a little bit of lag here from the update, but it works reasonably fast. So you could share you know, things like maps, and if we change what's on here, you can still see that it continues to update and change. So whatever's in this tab will then show up right over here. Now, we're gonna go ahead and stop it now. And when you're casting, the icon moves over to here because you're live casting. We're gonna hit and stop. And we're gonna close it. And the icon disappears because it's no longer actively sending data. Now this can only be sent from one computer at a time. Uh, so if you're doing this and someone else takes it over and anyone with on the same network running Google Chrome uh, web browser will be able to take it over, you can switch what's on there. Now we're going back to three dots here. We're going to go over and click cast again. And this time we're going to click the cast two and we're going to say cast desktop. And we still choose the one here. If you had a list of them, you would see a whole list of all the different available devices here. So we go to Studio Room, and I can cast my entire desktop, as in my entire computer. So I can mirror what's on my computer on the screen. Or, this is really clever, I can pick an application. So this is an application outside of Chrome. I'm actually running a tool, my uh, photo editing tool here called GIMP. We're going to hit Share. And now it's being shared. So here's what it looks like on my computer. And you can notice as I move and scale this, the application scales on the screen as well. Not as I move it, but as I actually scale it. So when I change this, it changes it on the screen as well. So we're gonna leave it back at full. And you can see how this works. So if you have a custom application that you're running, and this where I'm in Linux right now, but this works in Windows as well, but you can just move between here and I can move this off to the side and out of even my view of this monitor and it continues to cast. This is the browser that's casting it. So as long as I leave the browser open and this computer's up and running, it'll continue pushing an application on there. And I've had some clients that have loaded this on their servers. So they go to the server, they send it to the Google Chromecast, they just leave Chrome running on there and a dedicated box for it. But it's also handy if you have a call center area and you want to have some panels up. Well, Chromecast is a simple solution. Uh, system requirements are pretty not you know not too much on system requirements. It's really just having a reasonably fast uh, Wi-Fi network. So any newer uh, Wi-Fi network should work perfectly fine. A reasonably new computer within the last few years with the Google Chrome browser, and you can simply go here and cast the tab. Now this also works for some things like presentations. So we're going to head and stop casting again. All right, we stop the cast, and we're going to open up a Google presentation. So here is a Google presentation, and this is what is interesting. So we don't have to tell it to cast from here. We can actually have it right in here. So you are able to actually do the presentation right from the app. Now there's other apps that support it. I don't have the entire list of them, uh, but this is kind of just gets you started. If you basically have just a tab you want to cast or some application on there, uh, it's really simple. But for example, this has native support for it, so you can actually cast and do the presentation right from the presenter software itself. So this is just a quick tip. If you're interested in using one of these, uh, they're hard to beat for $35. I have a few of them at my house and we've installed quite a few for clients uh, as a solution in our conference rooms. And we have one in our studio room because it makes it real easy to share things from any computer connected to the Wi-Fi. Oh, side note. 
it doesn't, as long as the Wi-Fi is on the same network as your desktops, it will work. Uh, I had people ask me that they thought it only worked from other devices that have Wi-Fi. No, as long as the Wi-Fi is the same network as your desktop, it works for that too. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you like the content here, like and subscribe.